Hi Libra, so I'm here to do July's generals. So I did love last week. I'll be back to do love again in about two weeks' time. Uh, I'll also be doing another general set for the end of July. Um, I will be using the Angel Oracle deck for the Celtic Cross and I'll be clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. Um, I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings. Um, also the two question readings where I send you a video back answering your questions. Uh, all that is available in my website link below and my social media accounts are in my website link below. I've also just joined TikTok, so I need to add that link, which is Divinely Guided With Love on TikTok. Um, so we'll just jump straight in. So Libra, July, the moon. So we do have the new moon on the 9th and we have, uh, we just had the Capricorn full moon. Uh, the full moon, it looks like you're releasing. So it's about releasing anything that no longer serves you, releasing any fears that hold you back. Events going on behind the scenes, important sack insights. So the moon is about shifting illusions. It's about seeing through illusions. So eyes wide open, maybe you've had black your eyes opened to something that's been going on the challenge is to not get into conflict so the challenge is competing goals both some details conflict with others some of my libras had some type of competition or felt like they had some type of competition uh it could be in love it could be friendship or it could be in career um i ain't got that far yet but what I will say is the challenge is to... There the could have been disruptions and arguments here with the moon and the five of wands together. Um, like a bit of drama, that type of issue. Um, the challenge is to not get enthralled in that drama. Why is it coming around now? The nine of earth. So the nine of earth is the single independent person card. Uh, I won't say woman because I do have male watchers. Um, enjoying life, sort of luxury, spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment. So if this is business, take it as it resonates. If this is love, take it as it resonates as it's a general. So I'm just going to be throwing um, the different stories that I get from doing it. Um, so you could have found yourself newly single because of some kind of drama, some like some, being fed an illusion, that type of... Uh, or unless work was too dramatic and you've come out of it and decided to go on your own. Because recent past, you have decided to go on your own. We've got the Dreamer card. So it's a full card. It's a brand new fresh start. It's taking that leap of faith within yourself to go on your journey. It's going back to zero. So someone could still be trying to get your attention or, you know, drama, that type of thing. But I'm kind of, sway away from it. You Use your energy wisely and don't feed people like that, especially energy vampires. So I'll leave faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. I do feel like something unexpected happened. And it's eyes wide open. So at present, we've got the Four of Earth. Um, the Four of Earth, it... In the other decks, it's, it's the Four of Pentacles. So uh, it can be holding on to something. So you could feel that you're holding on to something. It could be needing to be careful with how you spend your finances and things like that. Um, but what I will say is the Four of Earth is usually... Don't be too careful because then you're putting out to the to the universe like I only have this amount and this amount is what I want to keep. You're not opening yourself up to more flowing in, whether that be love or whether that be finances. Um, that's why I always say treat yourself. Make sure you spend because then you're putting out to the universe that it, it, you you are willing to spend on yourself. You're willing to treat yourself, and the universe treats you back because it keeps the inflow coming in. So I feel like money is going to get better. Sorry. We're thinking in the future free of air free of swords in your near future position so i definitely need to clarify all this uh take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others so i do feel like some of my libras have been hurt by people in the past people who you know just brought them some kind of illusion made themselves out to be something that they weren't um Yeah, there's a lot of arguing and I think I'm talking to Libras who find themselves recently single or in the past because you could still be carrying this vibration. So it's like you want a fresh start, but you're still carrying the hurt and pain uh, that someone's put on you or you're, you're carrying it within yourself. Yeah, because 
we've got the nine of swords now we've got the nine of air being your power so you're being that in the power position the card says expect the word expecting words self-fulfilling prophecies sleepless nights your power is to get out of that it's to stop judging yourself on someone else's opinion so if someone's come with nasty words or um the way someone's treat you and you're thinking like is it me have i done this you know going into that anxiety overthinking mode um spirit are saying you need to get out of that and you need to start thinking clearly maybe this person was a lesson in your self-worth maybe you need to find there's always a lesson when someone brings in a hit like a hurt situation there's a lesson and i went through one last year and it was major it i was with a narcissist and the lesson was my self-worth like I knew I was worth more than that. And that is what I'm picking up here. You are so worth more than what you've been delivered in the past. But spirit will always deliver the same lesson in a different package until you've learned the lesson. And then within the lesson comes the blessing. You find yourself and then you radiate out a different energy and you bring someone in who, who's on the same vibration as yourself. So this is going more love, to be honest. Unless someone's caused an absolute nightmare at work. outside influencers see there's a lot of um could be dealing with an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo but there's a lot of uh, pentacles in the region as well so it could be going on to both outside influence page of earth good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging in the area of study the free of earth the power of creativity recognition for a high quality of work and being a team player so i can take that both ways so financially it looks like you're onto new things you're onto better things and it's better teamwork makes the dream work working together with other people with new people because if this is a career reading, it's not really nice, the energy that I'm picking up, if this is work. Um, but when I go to love, the outside influence could be that your partner or your ex-partner put you in a third-party relationship, a uh, third-party situation. Or you find out they were talking to another person. It could be after the event, once you've split up, they've moved on quite quickly, you know, that type of uh, energy. If this is work, there's a lot of, um, it's not a nice vibration to be in, no matter what situation. Hope so, fears. You just want the stress to end. So I'm definitely talking to some Libras who are really stressed at the minute. So too much work except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So they could be you or members of your family or people who are close by who are suffering like health concerns, anxiety, like depression, mental health, that type of thing. Um, physical ailments brought on like by stress. So there's a lot of stress. So if this is family as well, there's a lot of stress in the environment. Quite deep reading, Libra. Your outcome, it's all going to be okay. So we've got the Ace of Fire, an exciting opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. And I feel like if, if you are in a stressful environment, the main message of this is you have the power to change your life. No one else in the world can change your life. You've got to get up every morning. You've got to change your life. You, you know, you've got to come out of these illusions. That you've got to like be stern with yourself in order to move out of this energy because you deserve better and you deserve a better life and you deserve to live happy. Go and chase it. We've got the Ace of Fire. You know, you've got a chance to change your life because on top of that, we've got the Four of Fire, which is my 11-11 card. Contentment, peace and abundance, happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So I feel like your power is to get back up. It's to get back up and be stern with yourself. Yes, I'm going to do this um whatever it is that's stressing you out at the minute there's too much stress around you and other people try not to get into our i think a lot of it is that as if, if you are arguing if you're going around like if you're arguing with people and stuff like that you are lowering your vibration so much Try not to. You need to do more things on a high vibration 
So if people are trying to get a rise out of you, reactions and things like that, do not feed. Do not feed because your energy is being depleted by other people and other scenarios. So the moon, Libra. Two of Pentacles. See, it just looks like you're juggling everything and it's getting too much. You know, eventually the jugglers almost become tired. The five of fire. So this drama or arguing that I'm picking up on. So we've got the hangman in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. See, it's draining your resources. Whoever is trying to get a rise out of you or whoever, whatever you're putting your attention into at the minute, it's draining your life source. It's draining your life source and only you can like step out and take that back. And uh, I feel really blunt, don't I? But I, I'm, I'm only saying it because I love you all. <laughs> the Nine of Earth. So the Empress. So we've got the Mother in Card. We've got Mother Earth. The Empress. She's all the queens of the Tarot. She is the power manifester. And that's what they're saying. You have got the power within you to turn this around and pull all that energy back to yourself and your loved ones and, uh, you know, the people who truly love you. If this is a relationship and someone's done this to you, it's time to bring back that resource because do not let them feed. Do not let the energy vampires feed. Uh, but your power is to start manifesting and you've got to be careful because we can manifest negativity. If, we, if we're constantly putting out negativity or we're constantly reading or watching things that are negative, we're, we're putting our vibration down to that level. Your power is to learn how to manifest back up now. So the Dreamer card in the recent past, we've got Page of Wands. So things look like they were going good in the past. You know, the Dreamer card, a leap of faith following a dream. The Knight of Wands, but then we've got flighty energy in and out. This could be another person or this could be your energy, like not fully putting yourself into something or bringing someone in who wasn't fully invested, just like in and out. So the Four of Earth at the minute... The Five of Swords. See, someone feels the need to control um, or to voice their opinion and things like that. Step back. Step back because it's draining. Look at these people on their knees in the background. They're just draining. There's control issues here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so it's feeling like everything's going wrong at the minute, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So you could be like blocking people, falling out with people, um, or they could be doing that with you. We've got Lovers in reverse as well, so we've got the sign of Gemini there as well. Um, lovers in reverse, so relationships definitely in reverse at the minute. Things are going all tits up, to be honest. And we've got the Devil... So the sign of Capricorn, but there's a lot of like negative energy here and I don't really like it. There's a lot of negative energy here. So if you are, if you feel like you're being dragged down by negativity, please step back because it's so strong in your reading. So the three of swords, near future, the world. So recognition, it, I feel like the blinkers are going to come off. It's uh, the high priestess. You've got to listen to your intuition in order to expand because we need to change your vibe quickly. So we've got the Ten of Swords and we've got Temperance. So we've got Sagittarius there as well. And we've got the Ten of Swords. That, seriously, some... I hope this isn't affecting you physically because I'm definitely picking up physical stress. Like, Like a lot of healing, a lot of recovery is going to be needed because we've been in such a low vibe. So it's time to raise that vibration. And the Six of Pentacles, the balance has got to be brought back into this situation. And I feel like it's within you. So if this is a past person, you've got to bring that balance back within your life. So your power is the Nine of Swords. In... So we've got the Ace of Gold. Oh. So the power in... It's to stop expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecies, putting yourself down, thinking everyone's the same. We've got the nine of wands. So we've got the wounded warrior. Your power is to carry on plodding on, you know. We carry the wounds. We've got the two of wands because you, your power is to open up new paths. It's like you're at a T-junction at the minute and you don't know which way to go. But Spirit is saying, you'll be guarded because we've got the ace of cups. Go back to divine love. Go back to your roots. You know, if you don't meditate, try and start a meditation practice. 
clear the thoughts because all the, this is a lot of like negative thoughts. That's what I'm getting. Um, the outside influence. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun in reverse. So there's a lot of like not happy energy, like impatience, not happy energy, you know, people, it's supposed to be like teamwork type thing. And then we've got the tower. So there has been some kind of tower moment that you're, you know, someone on the outside or something from the outside has brought in a major tower moment. I know a lot of people have that in 2020 uh, when everyone went into lockdown and things like that. That was a tower moment for the universe, for the world, uh, well, for the earth. But so it could resonate from then. It could be finances from then. It could be family from then. You know, there's a lot of negativity in the reading. But your outcome is about getting your mojo back. So, the Ace of Wands, King of Swords, your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, it's you becoming you again. Seven of Cups and opening yourself out to new options. You know, it, it's about clearing the path and opening your way to new options. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. What you've lost, you can get back. The Knight of Cups, because there's sincere offers coming in. That could be you wanting to offer or someone else wanting to offer. We've got the King of Pentacles, so it could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, or it's about getting financially back on your feet and feeling stable and secure, safe. The Hermit, there's a need to retreat now. There's a need to go into Hermit mode, that's Virgo as well. Uh, there's a need to go into Hermit mode and do the inner work instead of the outer work and bothering about what's going on around you. Do the inner work, work inwards, um, because that's how we start to manifest, because then you've got the 1111. And then we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse because that's when you can come out of your head. Once you do the inner work and you start working inwards, you actually come out of your head. And we've got the Queen of Swords. So that could be, it could be two people working together because we do have two counterparts there. No matter what star sign um, a person is, they are showing as your divine counterpart. But that can also be a balance between your masculine and your feminine within us. We all carry masculine and feminine energy. So the feminine is about intuition and healing and, you know, uh, foresight and um, love. And the masculine is about the go-getter energy and the stand-up type energy. So maybe you've been too much in one of them. So there's a need to balance um, the energy. But I really wish you well and I really hope you get out of this like funky energy okay bye